Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's only four days till the launch of the build server at StoneLegion.com, so I thought today we would talk a bit about a global market, so here I am joined by James Bendis, which is actually my friend's account, but I'm using it as an example here today. Uh, we're going to learn about the global market. So at 4,000 by 4,000 in all four locations, just 4,000, 4,000 coordinates in the world, there is a place like this. And this little place is a beautiful, majestic little place. And uh, things may change, but it'll be similar, and it'll always be around 4,000, 4,000. So at this place, there's this wonderful door you can come through and open up, and uh, it's this little safe haven. You got a little buff here. We're getting some buffs here, regeneration and resistance, uh, just in case some mobs come and try to hurt us in here. And uh, here you'll find a market sign and a mail sign, and over here you'll buy, buy, sell diamonds, buy and sell diamond blocks. So right here, if we go ahead and right-click buy, we bought another diamond, so we're at 33. We can sell it, we're at 32. And we can do the same here, so I can buy a diamond block and sell a diamond block. And of course, you know, you can just easily do this, just to make life easy. And uh, there you go, sell a bunch of diamond blocks. And then uh, sell your rest of your diamonds. And it'll go from what's in your inventory. So even if you didn't see it, it was in my inventory, and of course it sold. So the cool feature about this is basically our currency is just diamonds. We don't have any items uh, worth value, anything else, only because we feel that only diamonds are worth it. Uh, if we end up manipulating uh, other items or more than one item, we feel like we're trying to set a set price to the market, saying, well, diamonds are worth this, gold is worth that, etc., etc. So we only say diamonds are worth that, and everything else is basically up and down and the prices do change quite a bit will be more expensive one day to the next and so the players control the market and that's how we do it here um, so you come here and you click the market sign here and these marketplaces uh, will be later on available for players in their cities for you know quite a little fee and the moderators will go set them up and etc for them but for now what you, what you do is come to the 4000 4000 and you list items and you pick up your items here and so when we look in here, you can see the market here it has some obsidian from me, some stone from James Bendis, a uh, note block here from Electrobot, lots expensive, Benno setting a lead, so we can buy the lead. Uh, and if you click it again, it'll it'll look like you picked it up, but it didn't do anything. Uh, you have to actually have to click it again to confirm buying it. So there you go, we just bought that. Uh, those note blocks are really expensive, but James Bendis, I'm gonna buy his uh, stone. And if you see at the bottom there, it says 64 of 384. And actually, if he has, I think, more than like 800 or 1,000 on here, it'll probably say, uh, basically, if he puts it on, I think like eight times or so, it'll say uh, 64 of many or so. But it could be only like, he only listed eight times or so, but it's something like that. So we can just keep clicking this and buying a bunch, and you see I have mail right away. And, oh, you don't want to accidentally bunch of, buy a bunch of note blocks, but it happens. Uh, you don't want to spam it because you may screw yourself and buy something you don't want, and that's you. Know, that's you. There's no refunds. You did it to yourself kind of thing. So now you can see I got the stone, and uh, some people may think they will lose it or something because, oh no, it just went into your inventory like that. You don't have to worry. Uh, I'll show you something cool here. If you go like this, and there you go, my inventory is full, and try to take this stuff, it will not go in your inventory. So you don't have to worry about, you know, oops, I just duped the chest because I'm creative, of course. This is a test server, by the way. Um, ah! There we go. Isn't there like a stacking thing? I miss inventory tweaks already. There we go. Ah, just get out of my inventory. There we go. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so you just go to the, the mailbox and you pick up your items and you have to do it through an actual item, there you go. And uh, you just click these and they will go in your inventory. Beautiful. There you go. Oh, nice bow there. Um, so how do we list stuff? Uh, first of all, you can type in market and there's a command here. So you can actually do market, this is really cool, price check. And it'll actually give you like some kind of... Uh, no uh, data available, but usually they'll give you, I think there is for stone, uh, somewhat an average I per item and per stack. Just sort of gives you an average of like maybe what this item has been selling for. It takes everything in the database and averages it out for you, which is really cool. And this is history data as well, so not what's on the market. Um, so, you know, oh, look, at it. it looks like per stack's going about 98. Eh, not bad. Maybe uh, I'll sell some for, you know, a little more or a little less. So let's go market. 
uh, create, and then we're gonna set the price. So remember, this is the price to what you set an amount. So we're seeing per stack uh, 98, so let's say 95 and then 64. 64 is in a stack, and there you go. Um, oh, and that was cobblestone, that was for smooth stone, there you go. Um, and then cobblestone has nothing on there, but I'm assuming you know cobblestone's not gonna be worth anything really. So let's just say uh, if you give me two credits for 64, I'm more than happy. And then we just go like this, and that's it. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna use crazy technology here, and I'm gonna turn James Bendis on the bottom of your screen there. And there's James Bendis, he's moving around. Ooh. So James Bennis is going to go over here, and he's going to say, hello, Kane. And he's going to go over here, and he's going to the market. And he's like, ooh, Kane has some uh, cobblestone for sale. So I'm going to buy some, and you're going to see. I'm going to get spine on call. He'll buy a smooth stone as well. And James Bennis will go over to his mailbox, and of course he's got his items there, and he can get them. And I'm going to show you what these transactions logs are here. Uh, hopefully that changes in the future, and a lot of things will change down the road. But... Uh, yeah, anyways, say goodbye, James Bennis. And James Bennis will now close the screen. Oh, no, wrong one. There we go. And so anyway, so I'm going to go to my mailbox, and I sold some items. Woohoo! Uh, now, my I don't get the money right away. If we type in money, uh, I have 17,437. So money gets your balance. So if we click transaction log, it will actually give you your earnings and put these in your inventory. Now, the cool thing is, is if it's the same exact item, and for the same price from the same auth user, because it does say their name in here for James Bendis. So everything is the same. Um, it will pretty much stack up your uh, book. So that's kind of handy if you're buying like a thousand cobblestone from a certain person. Uh, but besides that, the books are a bit annoying. So we may end up just removing the books. You still have a market history. So we might just keep that in the, the game. Uh, unfortunately, it does get cut off after a while. Um, I need to talk to the author of maybe adding pages or something like that. It's also supposed to show you some like information like your total sum and stuff like that. But that's at the very top and not on the bottom. And of course it gets cut off. And yeah, the log's a little bit messy. Look how messy that looks. So we'll see what we can do. So we may not even have these transaction logs. But uh, you'll need to grab them for now to get your money anyways. And you'll see my money will go up since the long. You'll have to rewind, but it would have gone up when I picked up these books. And you can see here, market transaction log, uh, so 64 cobblestone, buyer James Bendis, sale price 2. Interesting, what about this cobblestone? Well, sale price is 95, market cut 23.75. <gasps> what is going on here? Okay, so what is actually going on here? And for some reason, I'm supposed to be set as VIP, but I'm not right now, so I'm going to have to look into that. But what actually happened here was I just took a big nasty cut here and basically anytime I sell an item, say for 100 credits, the, the, the government or the bank, whoever you want to say, will take a cut of 25%. Now, if you're a VIP uh, member, subscriber who you know supports our server and stuff, we have it set to 10. Now, both of these values may change a lower down the road. We haven't decided, but for now, that's how we're doing it. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you're a VIP subscriber, you get a little less cut. We didn't want to do it for free because then people may just try to buy everyone out and then resell it for a little higher. So yeah, there's a bit of a fee, but there's also a nice uh, you know, feature to this. This is like an instant market where you can easily buy and sell things. Um, there's also other market sends, like uh, you can do uh, this one, market uh, send James, and you can hit tab there. Um, let's just say we'll send him our transaction log, so amount, and it'll literally send him our transaction log. So let's switch back to James and let's give James a little full screen here. So hello, and James will go over to his mailbox, and uh, there you go. Oh no, that's that transaction. Ah, oh, there you go. So that was Kane's transaction. So I stole Kane's transaction. There you go. That's cute. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much a, a summary on. Um, you know, global market. There's more features to be added in the future, and uh, hopefully things will get a little fixed, um, and we'll change things around here and there. But uh, overall, it's it's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy to use. Uh, one of the features that we're gonna probably get him to add, and hopefully shortly, is the market create. We're gonna do like a hundred, and uh, well, let's do create again. See if I can get the okay market create. So the price a hundred. So let's just say you're setting it for a hundred, and the mount rate now is sixty four, and that's all you can do. I'm hoping later on he can do something like 
uh, 64, and then you put another space and you say how many of those you want to set. So let's just say a thousand or something like that. That's what I'm hoping down the road to make it a little easier to sell multiple stacks onto the market. But for now, you're just going to have to hit T and up and over and over and over and just scroll through your, your, your mouse wheel and just listing. So if you're going to list 100 million cobblestone, that might not be worth doing right now. But uh, other things, definitely worth it. And I think it's a great, great plugin, and it seems to work really well. So I'm really happy with it. Seems like the majority of the players are actually really excited about it. So uh, hopefully this gives you a, a nice little tour of um, the Mark system. Oh, and don't forget, you can send money to P players by typing in... Oh, we're going to have to fix that. Apparently you can't right now, but you're supposed to be able to uh, send money... Uh, two other players and I think we're going to have slash send space and then the player name and then the amount but it said no permission right now so we'll have to look into that soon so thank you guys so much for watching hope this was a helpful video for you guys and uh, hope to see you guys on the launch of our new server